Eco Energy Solar. Ask us how to access the Victorian Government rebate. Call 1300 740 784. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Frank Hollihan Soccer Complex for this massive clash in Respect Round in the MPL Victoria. My name is Bryce Ruthman, joined tonight by Matt Sultana. And Matt, we have got one hell of a clash in our hands here tonight in Dandenong. Yeah, definitely. Both sides are quite uh, keen for the three points tonight. Obviously, three points for Dandenong City will mean that they get to move, uh, I guess, away from the drop zone. And for South Melbourne, they can stay within touching distance of the finals, which after three consecutive wins, you'd probably think that they're pretty keen to make the finals this year. Jerry Siliadis and on the bench for South Melbourne is Lee Monopolis, Peter Skepetis, uh, Josh Doran and Melvin Beckett. As you see, kickoff and an early attacking threat here. From the new signing from Brisbane for Dandenong City. That's a really interesting one because when you saw the signing of uh, Adrian Leia, I probably thought last uh, two weeks ago that he was going to be the one that was probably going to miss out as Dandenong City have a bit of a chance here. And it just goes over the bar from Brendan Sansalab. His first clear-cut chance of the night has been in the MPL 2 this year and obviously wanted to get back to the top flight and has his chance with South Melbourne. Did quite well last week when he came on off the bench as we do see a chance here for Bates. And it does come through. We have got uh, Salchin come out, tries to clear, and he does quite well there, Salchin, because uh, he'd lost the ball, but on the second gather, he collected. Salados meets the ball on the right-hand side. He'll take his space. City just sitting off and whips the ball to the back post. Does find Zach Bates. He's got Unmack in front of him. Sibatara comes back to help, and Salados finds Schroen, who will have a hit in the left foot, and there's a shot there, and Constantinides puts South Melbourne up 1-0, but unfortunately for us getting way too excited, the ball has been called offside. Much to the delight of the Dandy City faithful behind the goals. Yeah, some quick ball movement, and uh, Billy Constantinides at the back post, smashing the ball in the back of the net, but unfortunately was in an offside position, so the celebrations have been halted here. In the nicest way possible. Uh, Adrian Lear, who did send him off, currently getting treatment in an ambulance at the club rooms, could have been the villain here tonight in more ways than one. As we see James Kelly at the other end with a shot, and it goes out for a corner at the back stick. We thought it was dribbling in, and the... City faithful behind the goals this time, thinking we've just scored, but it's unfortunately gone out for a corner. It is Gregory Lombardo, number 13. So Gregory Lombardo, I believe, switched over to Dandenong City in the second half of last season from uh, Whittlesea Rangers. Jaden Unmack with Salados, and Salados wins out, and he goes one-on-one -on -one forward. He's got Carl Valeri in front of him. Sluts in Zach Bates. He's got a one option. He has a shot. Souchin does well at the near post. Looking to keep the men in blue and red in the top flight going into 2020. Constantinides. Happy to keep the ball here south. They spread it one to find some space. And I'll do so through Marafiotti. Switch flanks. The take on Pilkington. He'll get the ball in. Remains in. And he's done well here. Can get the ball across. And a great save at the near post from Souchin. Danger not over yet. As this for a long range effort. Hasn't been too bad. It's Billy Constant and he looks to break away here. As you see, three minutes of stoppage time added, and Marcus Schroen on the ball. Edge of the 18. Does well to strike it there, and a great save from Souchin, the Denny City keeper. Sibatara finds the middle, finds Valeri. Looking for Santalab. Sibatara just rides a challenge there, but does win his side. A free kick with about two minutes remaining in the first half. As you see, Thompson whipped the ball in to the penalty spot. Raganovic comes out. Santalab gets on the head. And Brendan Santalab finds his first goal in the NPL Victoria moments before the halftime break. And the Dandenong City faithful, they erupt behind the goals here at the Croatian Club at Endeavour Hills. And Matt, a goal out of nothing. Yeah, well, very interesting to see uh, if they use uh, the new signing of Petr Skipetis, who obviously are uh, A-League experience, played over in Europe, and did start the campaign with Dandenong Thunder, as we see City and James Kelly at his near side. Raganovic does very well to get down to the right-hand side and earn a corner. Petr Skipetis warming up as well, down to the right-hand side for us. Very interesting to see, as I said moments ago, what he adds to the South Melbourne team. He adds something a bit different, and I think he's a player that's more useful out in that right-hand wing. Yeah, and you can probably see in this game thus far here is Jace, 
James Kelly and James Kelly bends that into the top right hand corner and says what is doing South Melbourne we're going to nil up Matt Saltana well there you go Kelly finding the top right hand corner in off the crossbar really just a, a goal and a transition there, a transition moment Kelly cuts in on his right foot and uh, just lofts it past and Reganovic with really no chance uh, no chance really to save that really got the cobwebs out of that top corner and uh, wow Dandenong City take a 2 nil lead yeah, look, Pasco Vale had a really horrid run of results uh, in, in the, as a cutback here. It's a goal. And Brendan Sanslab with his second goal of the night. Cheers on with the Dandenong City faithful, like he did at West Sydney Wanderers. And it puts his side 3 up and shortly locking in the three points here at Frank Hollihan Soccer Complex. And another win on the board for Sasha Ogunowski and his men. Yeah, absolutely ecstatic. The Dandenong City supporters, I believe it was a cutback potentially from Valeri, uh, who found Brandon Santalab, who really a cute little flick to find the bottom right-hand corner and really seal all three points. And uh, What's the segment on the South Melbourne Facebook page? Is it KK's corner that he does in the sheds after the game? Is that the one we've seen floating around? We have. I don't think we're going to see it floating around after this game because uh, this has been a pretty... Long... And James Kelly with one hell of a shot off the post. And Paul Jack has been ruled offside on the follow-up through, but that shot from James Kelly was at least 45 yards out. Yeah, I think Dandenong City, the one thing they've... They've got a lot of things going from. One thing they lack is a bit of a, uh, a vocal supporter group. I mean, Melbourne Knights have it, St Auburn Saints have it, North Geelong have it, but uh, Dandenong City, I think they need to start recruiting uh, a bit of a supporter group to get some noise down here at Frank Holohan Sock Complex. It's a bit quiet sometimes. We'll have to check the budget, see if it's still available after the recent signings, but uh, there's only a couple of minutes left here. And that is full time at Frank Holohan Soccer Complex. The final score, the home side, Dandenong City 3, South Melbourne nil. Matt Sultana, final thoughts, please. Yeah, look, good result there for Dandenong City. I think in the end of the day, they just wanted it more than South Melbourne did. And uh, Brendan Santalab showed why he, I guess, is uh, getting... Uh, getting the treatment he's getting here down at Dandenong City because he chipped in with two goals and Carl Valeri was consistent throughout the game. Obviously, uh, Adrian, we did lose Adrian Lay early on the game, so we wish him all the best and a speedy recovery as he did get a, a bit of a cut behind the head for that uh, incident that did take place in the first half.